Hello and welcome back to Crew Call with the Scooters. I am so, so excited to welcome our next guest. We've known her for years. She's one of our favorite people uh, in the film industry, Patty Bell. Thank you so, so much. Great. Well, thanks for having me. After all this time, we've been trying to get it together. So I'm glad it's happening. It's been on Patty to do this. So we're super yeah. happy that she's here today. Um, hey. So let's get started, Patty. You are pretty much the go-to hair and makeup artist here in Pittsburgh, especially for anything film, TV, commercials. So why don't you start out, tell us a little bit about your background, how you got involved in this, and then we'll go through your amazing <laughs> resume. Wow, okay. Well. So I probably have been doing makeup for 25 years in Pittsburgh. Um, stay, luckily, I stayed busy enough here that I don't have to travel much. I mean, I do go out of town for occasional jobs, but, you know, knock on wood, I can still stay uh, local and work in my hometown. But um, yeah, I've been doing makeup forever and um, started in department stores. And then um, my next door neighbor, I used to watch her animals and she had a line of makeup called Ralph Lauren Cosmetics. And um, she said, hey, do you want a job? So I was doing makeup in the department stores and I got discovered there by my agent, Deb Doherty, and said, hey, do you want to work on a commercial? And I did my first commercial with her and um, it just took off from there. And um, one day, um, uh, I think I got, I got a call from Jack Ham to, he said, hey, do you want to do my makeup? I'm doing the show for the Steelers. So then that took off with my whole sports career and um, got into doing film and, you know, the kind of rest is history, just been plugging along, you know, all these years. Still That's love it. Good. That's, I mean, that's yeah. a great story. You have to love it. Um, you know, sometimes the hours are very long. Yeah. You're very <laughs> you No, know, yeah. The hours can be brutal. Um, sometimes it's super early crew calls. Sometimes it's, you know, night shoots. Um, you just never know. Every job is different, but it's still great 99% of the time. Yeah, absolutely. And you're always probably, yeah. I mean, we're always like, hey, let's, you know, it's always hair, where's hair makeup? How are you? You yeah. know, I know you mm -hmm. have to magic very right quickly sometimes and yeah. on your toes and it's, it's yeah. definitely high paced environment. It is. Yeah. It's a lot of thinking on your feet and last minute, you know, last minute jobs, um, being at the right place at the right time, um, you know, just working hard and being nice to people, you know? Yeah. And yeah. being talented, which you guys are. <laughs> Yeah. And I started like I would sit in high school, I would just draw faces. So I was I was always an artist to begin with because, you know, and it was just that skill has kind of transferred over to people's faces now. So yeah. and now like your face is my campus. So that's yeah. like my thing, you know. So great. And let's ask, so were you born and raised in Pittsburgh, Patty? I was. Yeah, I, I was born in Beachview, moved to Dormont. I live in Green Tree now. So, yeah, I'm all, like a South Hills girl. And, yeah, I'm here to stay and here to retire. And, yeah. That's incredible. So let's yeah. talk a little bit about, you know, your, if you can, your resume um, of work and things <laughs> that you've worked on that we might have seen and some of your favorite jobs and things like that. Wow. Um, uh, it's hard, like I'm right now, um, uh, we'll talk pre-COVID a little bit because, yeah. you know, I've been like my, um, some yeah. of my main clients, you know, I work for NBC Sports. Um, I've been with them probably, oh geez, maybe 15 years or so. And I do makeup for all the announcers for the hockey games, um, playoffs, finals, and all that kind of stuff. And work for the Steelers. I've been with them for 20 years. I do all their shows, um, TV productions, not game day or anything like that. Occasional Sunday night football. But um, mostly work, you know, stay super busy in, you know, sports, politics, commercials, print work in town. So it's a little bit of everything. And um, lately it's, you know, it's just started to pick up again. You know, knock on wood again. So it's been... Oh. Yeah, let's as you know really quickly as you bring it up. So, you know, you're pretty much booked solid. I would say probably good for a year when you have like the sports that come in. You, you have your you know the people that you work with. So, co you know, cut to last year and and COVID hits. Was it mm -hmm. much immediate that everything just kind of stopped or oh, gradual or how yeah? Did so it was you know I had my whole schedule for hockey and um, all of a sudden like we did our last game and we were like okay we're done <laughs> it was like that was cut and then any other jobs I had after that you know everything was just um on standby and and then a lot of times they 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 would just have the talent do their own hair and makeup mm. so or I would I was doing some zoom calls with people and teaching them how to do it or getting them products to use that they could use on the air to do it themselves and kind of doing like little teaching lessons so that kept me a little bit busy during COVID 
but yeah, pretty much everything came to a grinding halt. And when did that end? Yeah. You mentioned it's just now, is it really just starting to pick up? Like when did you start seeing jobs come back? Um, I think I did my first job last year. Um, it might've been like June and wait, it could have been like, I think I did a print job with, um, American Eagle and they were, and everybody was, you know, we're all COVID tested before the jobs and wearing masks and shields. And that was pretty big to get back into work. And we were outside too. Mm -hmm. And then, um, we did our first, the first union commercial in the country was shot in Pittsburgh. So I got to work on that. And that kind of set the tone and the precedence for all the, the union shoots in the country. So, I mean, we kicked that off. We had like COVID officers and um, it was very minimal contact with the actors for us. So in last minute touch-ups and um, only anything that was like needed, like nothing, like we normally take a long time doing makeup and they're just like, let's get them in and out of the chair. And, you know, and um, shields around it, you know, they take every precaution that they can on set, which is really great for, especially for the actors. Right, absolutely. And what, yeah. during COVID, was there anything that you had to do? Like, I know you said that you did, you know, you were telling people like how they could do their own, but was there any like skills that you had to, you were like, I'm going to learn this or I'm going to try this or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, for me, I really I brushed up on all my painting. So I mm-hmm. like, I literally loved being home like all summer. It was great. Mm-hmm. So I just brushed up on my painting skills and um, that just really helped with just my creativity. And, um, you know, and I was doing like Zoom, like um, makeup classes for people who were like some of my, I have a private makeup studio as well. So like that is my real love and teaching women how to look great. So um, I would do private lessons for them. So I really love that too. And then we were just like gardening, watching birds, cooking, like cookouts and stuff. It was great. So yeah. I, I did love it. Um, I missed working, but it was so, because I've always worked so much and it was like, everything grinded to a halt and I was like, wow, okay, <laughs> what, what do I do right. now? What do so, I do? Yeah. So, um, but it was great. Like we just made the best of it. We were playing games, like family night at home and stuff. It was really fun. You know, that's you well, that's good. yeah. Let's, let's we just, it was just like slowly it started to trickle back in a little bit, you know, and then films just started to come about. I think mm-hmm. like, um, when did we start work? I think like November, they started to come back around again. But, and they're really strict on set with all the, you know, COVID rules and regulations too. But and everybody follows along and abides by everything. So it's been great. Do you think that's going to last for a lot longer? And, or do you also think that like anything that, you know, you did prior to COVID is kind of like a thing of the past and then some of these new protocols are going to stay when it comes to like set and hair and makeup? I think things are starting to get a little bit better now. Um, but I think by summer, um, I'll, I'll be working on a film this summer. So I think things are going to start to loosen up a little bit now that the, um, the mask regulations have lifted some and you know, more people are getting vaccinated too. So I think things are going to start to loosen up. We hope, you know, at least being outside, you know, in a mask all day. So, you know, but our, our, um, I, I work a lot with the background too. And, mm-hmm. you know, our background, they're in little pods and they have to zip up in between takes and so you know and there's very little talking anymore on set too so that's a whole new world that's you know very different that's yeah crafts like craft service is different like everything is individually you know we used to have all these fancy dips and yeah. you know drinks and you know just grab you can't take anything they have to they you have to order whatever you want so you're like i'll take one of these and one you know they hand it to you you can't just grab it and, yeah it's wild that is crazy. I think some of yeah. that might be here for a while. Some of those little things probably like that just for safety. I mean, some, some of it's really great as yeah. far as, you know, being sanitary and stuff, because you don't want every everybody's food that's yeah. been, you know, <laughs> double dipped into all day either. Absolutely. Um, but I mean, we've, as far as makeup artists and hair, we've always been, you know, we're licensed. So we are always have been sanitary. So now it's just going extra on set, you know. Absolutely. Well, let's, so it's, I wanna, it's, yeah. Okay. No, no, go. I want you to hear. You I, can't, I can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> was gonna oh, well, I was going to talk about something. I want to hear a couple about your, you know, some of the films, but I think one thing we need to mention is there is something very exciting that happened this past weekend um, at the Oscars. You were, you worked on Ma Rainey and the hair and makeup department won Best Oscar for hair and makeup, which is incredible. Congratulations. You. It was like, it was amazing. Like this team that we were a part of, I mean, I mean, the most incredible cast and crew and um, 
just the set design when I was on that show it was seeing the old cars and the wardrobe I mean the wardrobe I think they won for Academy Award yes, as well um just seeing the actors you know these scenes that they were doing Viola Davis working it was just phenomenal just to witness it um our backstage area for we did all the background because it was 19 um Oh, shoot, I think it was 1920s. I can't remember yeah. what year. I think it was 1920s. So every single person who was an extra had to go through background, which meant, you know, lots of facial hair. Some women got makeup, some didn't, depending on like what kind of um, uh, uh, scene they were in or whatever. Um, and, you know, we're, and everybody has like tattoos. So we're, there was no tattoos back then. Um, so every single person, you know, we're looking at brows, um, lips, everything had to be specific to what our bosses wanted. And but there must have been at least like 12 of us, 12 hair, 12 makeup, but not like I was working alongside some of the best makeup artists in the country. I mean, that's how I was so honored to just to be a part. And the people who we worked with were just so phenomenally nice and took us under their wing and just great, wonderful women and men too, you know? Yeah, no, that's incredible. So and what were it they was do? huge. I can't, I mean, that's, it. you know, seeing it, it looked, like you were just stepping back in time and yeah what happens you have to like go through like a little trading course you already kind of you probably have some of that history in your arsenal because from doing so many things but how does yeah. that you just kind of get okay, here's what it is here are certain looks you handle this yeah. you handle that type of thing right I mean each show has a different um protocol like how like who it's who's ever the background head of background yeah. typically like for this particular show and she sends us out a list of everything whoever sits in our chair like you know we look at this we look at that um um, it was tons of facial hair too, and everything was so specific. Um, mustaches were specific at that time. Pretty much, we did a lot of shaving. Um, um, you know, and everybody would get dirty or sunscreen. It was um, just like kind of like an assembly line. When I worked on um, Dark Knight Rises, that shot here in Pittsburgh mm -hmm. too, um, that was years ago. We shot at the stadium for a lot of those scenes that they blew up. And um, pretty much, my job every day was sunscreen girl. So we literally would line them up and I would just spray people with sunscreen. And then, and then the next person would put dirt on them. Um, Cause a lot of people in the background, they don't get, you know, if you're, if you're not a featured person, you don't get seen all the time, but we still have to take care of everybody and, you know, and make sure their, their makeup and hair is for that time specific period. But yeah, that was my job to spray sunscreen, sunscreen on people. That's awesome. Was fun. <laughs> because that was wild too, just to see like, um, yeah. Pittsburgh and that scene and like yeah. the, um, the Batmobile and the Catwoman mobile. It was crazy fun. Like it was just, I was like, holy shit. I couldn't believe I was working yeah. on like I that know. big of a budget, you know? Did you, were you a part of that? I or? was, I worked on that as well. I was in, I was wow. at that scene as well. We were in, uh, we did all the background casting. Oh yeah. yeah. And it was hot too. Remember how hot it was? It so was, those people were, it, and they were in winter like coats outside they, and it was summertime. The, yeah, the background on that like should have won awards because they were yes, so excellent. Right. No one complained. They were just so happy to be there. And I know hundred degrees and yep. like, winter jacket. It's like yeah. you watch it and you would never know that. And this is wild. And we made like there was fake snow for some of the scenes too. And that was that was huge. Like for that to happen to Pittsburgh, <clears throat> and now for Ma Rainey for that. And we've had um, <clears throat> and then another girl. Um, a local person from Pittsburgh was nominated. Somebody else won for production design. So this is just so great for our city. It really so many is. talented people here. And I mean, we can basically do any any show. Or one camera guy, he was on a film, and that was nominated for best cinematography too. So yeah, Pittsburgh you know, that was just we have some really talented people here. It really is. Yeah. And what it was that like your most like in terms of film or TV? Was sunscreen girl your most crazy <laughs> moment, or do you have another one that you? Um, sure sun, you the sunscreen girl. That well, that was. Well, I did get to do some real makeup, but <laughs> major scenes that was like that, and they did let me uh, jump on the Catwoman mobile. Did like, yeah. like I, I met the designer. Sir, oh, yeah, you want to go sit on? I was dying. Oh my God. Um, <clears throat> but um, I love one of my favorite movies was Perks of Being a Wallflower. Yeah. Like I was key makeup on that. So, I mean, the cast and the actors every day of that, they they were all friends and Stephen Chbosky is a Pittsburgh guy too. And he wrote it and seeing him interact with these actors and watching his film come to life, like seeing the joy, just watching him direct and how happy he would be after every single scene. And 
you know, every, it was just the best experience ever. You know, the actors were just phenomenal to work. Everybody got along. They were all like best friends by the end of the show and yeah. hanging out. And, you know, we just, every day in our trailer was like a party. It was so much fun. That was a good one. I did. Yeah. Like, did, did you work on that one? I did. That was one of my yeah. last ones I worked on. I think it was like the second to last one I worked on. It was super, like, it felt like that. Everyone was very close. Everyone uh -huh. felt like a part of it. Uh, it yeah, it was, it was just, oh, it was, they were so fun. I love those actors. And they all took off like after that. I mean, yes. Emma Watson, of course, was a huge star, but um, like Ezra Miller, he took off and Logan, Logan Lerman. Yes. And like they were just, just great kids to work with. Yeah. You know, we had a blast. It was a fun one. Well, yeah. anything fun coming up? You said you're working on a film this summer, and, uh, which is great. Is there any, are you starting to, your book starting to fill up again, I'm sure, for the rest of the year? Yeah, I swear, it, all of a sudden, it just, it's like things are like back to normal. Like I'm actually turning down work, yeah. like which is wild. It's like everybody is shooting again. Um, brides have been calling me like crazy, which I I never even had a lot of inquiries for bridal work. Um, every day brides because I think their seat their bridal season was so screwed up last year. So now I'm getting so many inquiries for brides too. Well, but um, beautiful work. Honey. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I know somebody who's getting married. I know. Church. You know, if they need somebody, I don't know. Exactly. Just saying, yeah. But um, uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of, it's just very invigorating now that it's kind of picking up again and, and that everybody is working again. And um, I think there's another show that's going, to, um, Rust, it's working until October or something. And yes. another movie's coming in. We have two shows coming in. So um, it should be really good for our city. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. we love, we could talk forever. I know. Um, thank I know. you so much for joining. You're me. welcome. And I mean, working with you guys, honestly, has been just some of the best projects too. I mean, you know, they are, it's just thank you. great, great people, great crew. Um, yeah. So thank you for all of that too. I can't yeah. wait to see some of the work that we've done, you know? Same. We're very excited. Yeah. We love, we always say it's always a better set when Pat is there. So yeah. thank you so much again. All right. Well, thank you for having right. me on. All okay. Right. Take care. Okay. Thanks. You too. See ya.